Need LASIK? Trust the experienced team at the LASIK Center at Evergreen Eye Center. No glasses, no contacts, no limits. What will you do? LASIK at evergreen.com. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. Today's second date update is a little different than usual because normally when somebody emails us, they're complaining like, oh, I've been blown off or this person won't talk to me. Well, apparently the dude on the phone today named Andy has been trying to get together with the girl that he went out on a date with, and she's also been trying to get together with him, but they can't seem to connect. What? And now I guess he thinks he needs to do a second date update about it. Andy, what's up? Whoa. How are you? Hey, good. How you doing, man? Wow, from good. that description, it sounds pretty boring, Andy. Like, we're <laughs> going to be your personal assistants trying to get the calendar right Seriously. for you, too. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe it's me, but we just can't seem to get on the same page. Um, okay, well, why'd you email us for a second date update, then, if you don't think she's blowing you off? At first, I didn't think she was blowing me off, but now I think she might be. Mm. Okay, maybe it just got too frustrating trying to plan something. (laughs) Before we get into all that, tell us a little bit about her. Where did you meet her? Starbucks, actually. Oh, that's kind of cute. Did you approach her? I did, which I usually don't do, but she actually kept looking at me, and uh, I just thought... Yeah, she did, Andy. That's right. Uh She did. (laughs) Yeah. You just stand there at the Starbucks all day long waiting for ladies to check you out. (laughs) It finally paid off, yes. (laughs) I mean, I didn't know what was going on. I thought maybe she would, like, I had a stain on my shirt, or I had, like, cancer or something. Yeah. You had oh a whole lot God. of sexy on your shirt. That's yeah. the problem that day, Andy. I did, I did, yeah. What did, what did you say to her? Did you have a line, or were you up front? How did you approach her? I was very up front. I just said, I, I just got to say you're beautiful. I told her straight up. Good. That's kind and, of cool. Uh, and then she took her headphones out and said, what? <laughs> and, yeah. So I had to repeat it again in front of everyone else. Did she really, did she really have her headphones in when you walked up there? She did, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. I didn't notice until afterwards, yeah. Oh, okay. man. <laughs> well, when you said it again, did she seem like she liked it? She did. She said, thank you. So, yeah. And then what happened? I mean, did you, like, ask for her number or what? Yeah, after some small talk, we exchanged, not numbers at first, but Instagrams. Okay. Oh, so that's, we, okay. That's good. Because I noticed she was on her Instagram, and then um, we messaged each other back and forth for a while. So, yeah. <laughs> so you haven't been out on an official date with her yet at all? Not an official one, no. That day, we actually ended up hanging out a little bit afterwards, after Starbucks. But yeah, nothing official. And how was that hanging out? It was fun. Yeah, like we went for a little walk. Um, We went up to this uh, little hill area that has a nice view. And uh, I tried to kiss her. So What? Right after meeting her at Starbucks. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I was feeling the vibe, so I just uh, leaned in to kiss her. Whoa! Wow! Bold, bold <laughs> yeah. move, sir. Very bold. Yeah. Did you kiss her, or did she run down the hill screaming? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't run down the hill screaming, but she did uh, pull away. So yeah, I, oh. I, the kiss never happened, oh, and man. I felt uh, horrible about it. What, what did she say? She said, uh, "I don't kiss on first dates." Right, or yes. like at lunchtime, I'm assuming exactly. it was daylight yeah. and there was no alcohol involved and you'd only known each other for how long at this point? Uh, like a half hour, yeah. So. Oh, yeah, dude, she should have. You wow. know what, That that's very judgmental of her. That's She should have totally been making out with <laughs> you prude. by then. Right? I know, seriously, are you sure you want to even waste <laughs> oh your time trying God. to go out with her again? Oh, come on. Uh, so what happened after that then? Actually, uh, at the end, I, I, I tried to give her a hug. I said, do you do first date hugs? And she, she said, yeah, so I, we hugged, and then uh, <laughs> okay. we went our separate ways after that. And you didn't do anything creepy during the hug? Mm-mm. Andy, <laughs> be honest, like it wasn't like a little bit too long, or your hands went south? No, no, I mean, I have done creepy stuff with hugs before, but no, not this time. <laughs> well, well, because you've probably learned. You've done okay. enough creepy hugs over yeah. your lifetime that now you know what you should and shouldn't do during a hug. That's how I learned not to lick cheeks. What? <laughs> don't so, even ask, Andy. What? Don't ask. And which cheeks? Okay. Yep. Never mind. Anyway, Andy, why do you think she's not calling you back then? No, actually, she did call me. Oh. She did? Yeah. That's the weird part. She called and left a message the next day. What? What would she say okay. on the message? She just said, hey, it was great hanging out with you. We should hang out again. Hey. She did? Okay. Yeah. That's good. And so you got back to her, right? Like... I tried to get back to her. I called her back, and I left a message. And then the next day, she texted me back, 
and then I texted her back, and we just haven't been able to like connect. It's it's really okay. annoying. Oh, well, weird. but you said now you think she's blowing you off. Why? It sounds like you guys just are having a normal conversation. Well, I think she's blowing me off now because it's been like three days I haven't heard back from her, oh. and so now I'm thinking maybe. She did think the hug was creepy or something. <laughs> or the kiss. The, probably the kiss. No, maybe. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple of options you could choose from. All right. Well, we'll play a song, come back, and then call her and see if she is, in fact, blowing you off with your second date update. All right? Okay. Great. All right. Man. Hang on. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the mornings. Second date update. We're right in the middle of a second date update. And if you're just joining us, Andy is on the phone. And today he wants to call a girl named Ariana. They didn't even have a real date. They met at a Starbucks and then ended up going for a walk. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he tried to kiss her like 30 <laughs> minutes after meeting her. That yeah. was also part of the date. And Andy, I think most people would definitely kiss you after meeting you like within 10 minutes. So I don't even know why you want to call this weirdo. Are you sure you want to call her? She sounds strange to me. No, she's not. She's not weird. She's really cool. And uh, hopefully she'll kiss me on the second date. Okay, don't push it, Andy. All right, you already pushed it on the first date, Andy. Yeah. I won't, I promise. And I would normally think it was the kiss or the weird hug, but she actually called you and wanted to hang out, and it's just you guys haven't been able to connect. Yeah, exactly. It's like she was calling me, I was calling her, we texted back and forth, and then it's like she just disappeared off the face of the planet. Yeah, Okay. Weird. And a it's whole been three, days. three whole days yeah. since you've heard from her. <laughs> I feel like we're too connected in this world anymore. Like three days and it really does feel like someone just like is dead. Yeah. If someone doesn't respond to a text message within an hour, that's like a week. Right. Like back totally. in the early 1900s, that would be a week. All right, Andy, I'm going to dial her phone number right now. You ready? Let's do this. Get her on the phone. I want to find out what's going on. Okay. Here we go. Hello? Hi. Can I speak to Ariana? Yeah, this is her. Hey, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Uh, who is that? Who are you? Uh, Jubal. I host a radio show. It's called Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Um, okay. <laughs> You've clearly been a fan for a long time, and I thank you for that, Ariana. Yeah, no, I've never heard of it. Yeah, we, we got that. Yeah, that was my, my point. I, I, <laughs> I could understand that you hadn't heard it before. Um... I'm calling you today because one of our listeners actually sent us an email about you. Oh, wait, can you get to the point? Because I'm... I'd I'm... love to. Um, <laughs> his name is Andy, and you guys met at a coffee shop recently. Oh, no, that's not happening. That was a quick Whoa. no, Ariana. Yeah. What do you mean? I'm not interested in guys that play games. You're not interested in guys that play games? Like board games? I don't like people who play board games either, so I'm on your side there. <laughs> yeah, uh, haha, no, um... <laughs> what did, uh, I guess, like, what did his email say? Uh, all good things. He said that he really liked meeting you and that you guys were trying to plan a date, but you disappeared and he hasn't heard from you in three days. Oh, he also said he tried to kiss you, uh, like 30 minutes after that. <laughs> Which we thought was, like, bold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was bold, um, but um, he's breadcrumbing me, so, yeah. Wait, what? remind me again, breadcrumbing. What's what does that mean? Like, he's, you know, he's stringing me along. Like, he's sending me texts and calls that are, like, you know, they're nice and everything. But, like, he's not trying to make solid plans with me. What? I mean, of course he is. He contacted us to get a hold of you so that <laughs> you guys could get together. I don't know about that. The message is, like, that he's been leaving me. Like, he's just returning my calls. It's like he's an answering service. Okay, so he told us, when well, we talked to him a little bit to ask him about meeting you, he said that you guys have been kind of playing phone tag or whatever. Yeah, but phone tag is like when you like care about someone, you try to get a hold of them. Like he's obviously breadcrumbing me, and so I'm just gonna ghost him. So he's breadcrumbing, and now you're ghosting. <laughs> yeah. What? I mean, maybe he's just waiting till you guys can actually talk on the phone to make a plan. I mean, maybe he was, but obviously we're both busy. So if we're texting, then like text. That's how people make plans. Okay. So you think that he's breadcrumbing you because he hasn't tried to make official plans yet? Yeah, he's just being nice, but he's not, like, doing anything about it. And I keep I keep saying, when do you want to hang out? When are you free? And he doesn't answer me. What? Okay. What does he say in return? Like, how's your day? He, you know, it goes, he doesn't message me for <laughs> hours and then just kind of ignores it and is like, how are you? How's your day? Which is nice. 
but like he didn't answer my question about when he was free. Yeah, you're like, scroll up in the text thread, man. <laughs> yeah, like he's been breadcrumbing me for a while, but now he's zombieing me, so I'm just over it. Zombieing? What's zombieing you? What's that one? Which one? Yeah, I don't know which one that is. What does that mean? If someone ghosts you and then they like come uh-huh. back from the dead, you know, like they're zombieing you. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to clear it up real quick. So at first you felt like he was breadcrumbing you, and then you ghosted him. And then you felt like maybe he ghosted you, but now he's zombieing you. And you guys, he's using you to zombie me. Yeah, that's so right. clear. I don't know what. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what you call this part. You probably have a word oh for it, but God. he's also uh, on the other line listening and wants to talk to you right now. I don't know what that, like resurrecting. Maybe that's resurrecting. Ooh, good. Yeah, I don't know what that would be called. He's not really on the phone right now. This is an eighth grade. Yeah, no, he's on the other line listening and wants to talk to you. And yes, our show is actually is more like sixth grade. But thanks for the vote of confidence. Hey, I'm here, Ariana. How you doing? Oh, my God. What is breadcrumbing, by the way? I don't even know what that means. I was I, just trying to reach out to you. Yeah, you weren't, like, actually making solid plans with me or anything. So I just decided to bench you, you know? <laughs> what? You got benched. Dude. I get that one. What? Yeah, everyone gets that one. I want to hang out with you, Ariana. It sounds like you have a term for everything. Yeah. Bench me? What does that even mean? I mean, it's pretty obvious. I'm going to go out, do whatever I want, and I'm going to have you sit on the sideline because you need to make a move. <laughs> make a like move? You're, not playing, well, you're made... not playing well in the game, so like i got to put you on the bench. You know what I mean? What? I've been playing good. I texted you. I called you. I just We haven't been able to make a connection. Why are you benching me? <laughs> he sounds so sad, Ariana. He shouldn't sound sad. Like, he zombied me. I mean, zombieing, bread cry. I had to write those terms down before. I never even heard of them. But, I mean, can we just, like, talk in English? I mean. Well, those are all English words. But, Ariana, I mean, here's, here's the thing. When you're using all those terms and you're, like, labeling everything that he does in a different way, it almost sounds like you're the one playing the game, not him. I am not playing games. He's the one who is playing games. I've already explained everything that he's done to me. Like, I'm the victim here. Like, I... <laughs> I'm benching him. Yeah, I feel like you know all the terms, and you've played this game for a long time now, mm-hmm. Ariana, so you know when somebody's playing a game on you. Andy, why would you breadcrumb her like oh, that? come on, Jubal. <laughs> I was not. I don't know what that means, but I was Oh, whatever, you zombie. <laughs> okay, you I know mean, what? Andy, <laughs> like, to your defense, listen, Ariana, he directly told you that you're beautiful in a Starbucks. Like, that's really direct. He tried to kiss you 30 minutes into the date. I mean, like, how much more can he say? Like, I am into you. I don't know what else I need to say. Like, I've already told you guys everything. Like, Mm. what else am I supposed to say? Uh, I don't understand. Will someone just please explain to her that I like her and I want to go on another date and I don't Uh, want to be benched or breadcrumbed or whatever? I'll do that for you, Andy. Ariana... Would you go on a second date with Andy? We will pay for it. He does want to go out with you again. He's not b- throwing breadcrumbs in, in your face. He'll name a time and place immediately. Yes, and we'll pay for it. Actually, I, I don't have an exact time or place right now, but I, I'll text you later for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. Oh, no. There you go, Ariana. What do you say? One more date. We'll pay for it. Do you see what I'm dealing with? Okay, kind of, yeah. I actually, I mean, this whole time I've been against you, but I kind of get it now, yeah. Ariana. <laughs> like, just set a date. Like, I, we're not getting married. Like, I know, I, oh, I want it to be special. I have to think about it. Yeah, that's, oh, that's yeah. frustrating. No, that's, no that's a ploy. I'm with her. I mean, you, this is all happening. You just said it right now. I can't think of something off the top of my head, but I will have fun. Trust me. Trust me. You know what, Andy? Like, you're officially benched right now. If I'm interested later, like, I'll text you. Oh. What? Oh, man. No. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying, Ariana, if you zombie him, then you're okay going out again. <laughs> yeah, Andy, I'm ghosting you right now. And if I decide to talk to you again, I'll zombie you, okay? <laughs> I'm so confused right now. What's happening? I, don't, I mean, <laughs> I don't think you got a date. Sorry you didn't get. A second date, though, Andy, and I think we need to be officially done because I need to go to Urban Dictionary right now and mm-hmm. figure out what the hell just happened. <laughs> Brooke and Jubal in the morning. Text in at 78592 says, I don't really know what happened with that second date update, but mm-hmm. at least now I know what breadcrumbing, zombieing, and <laughs> resurrecting is in dating terminology. 
if you missed it, Alex wanted to call Ariana. She wasn't calling him back. They were playing phone tag. Uh, she would go away, then come back, and everything else. She, we got her on the phone. She said that Alex was breadcrumbing her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, saying he was going to make plans, but never making plans. Mm -hmm. And then she went away, and then came back, and apparently that's zombieing. And there was a whole lot of words lot, that she used. A lot of terms. She's been reading too many blogs yeah. about dating online. But the thing is, she was spot on with his behavior. I mean, it, Because yeah. at the very end, he's like, yeah, I'd love to take you up. Not sure when, but yeah. I think it's going to happen. So he was still doing it. They agreed to not go out. Uh-huh. Maybe. Because she said she might zombie him at some point. <laughs> I feel that like means bring him back. With all these terms, like, if you tell someone you're dating nowadays, they're like, what is dating? Yeah, like, I don't is, know what that means. Uh, are you zombie? Are you breadcrumbing? Oh, no, we're just dating. What? Yeah. Are we shillelaying? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> sounds, that one sounds fun. I would it does sound fun. I would shillelay yeah. somebody. That yeah. sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Remember, if you want a second date update, all you have to do is email the show, and we will call the person who breadcrumbed you or zombied you or just didn't call you back. Yeah. Moving 92.5.